Welcome to the Passport course navigation tutorial. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the course guide and how to use all the different modules available in the Passport series. So this is the Cardiac Foundations course guide, which contains the beginning three sections that every pathway will include. But different course guides will look different for different bundles depending on the sections available. Each of them will have an intro paragraph, hyperlinks to the start of each section in the order that is appropriate to take them, descriptions of all the different modules, and a recommended reading list with links to places to buy the books, but you can always buy them in other locations. Again, these are recommended, not required, but they are very helpful for adding additional context and giving lots of practice, especially with things like ECGs. So I'm just gonna go to the first section, Anatomy and Physiology, the link takes me directly to the course roadmap, which will lay out all the videos and resources and recommended reading for this entire section. So you can really chart out your learning. And I'll just hit continue and go to my next lesson, which is a video lesson uh, on basic cardiac function. So we recommend going through these videos multiple times. Some users will watch them through once and take the knowledge check and then go back. Some will take really substantial notes their first time through and then review it at different points, uh, sometimes going on to further content and then coming back. But once you've watched the video and you feel ready, you can take this knowledge check, which will contain multiple choice questions about um, the video you just watched just to assess your comprehension. So in this one, to increase cardiac output, you need to increase blood pressure, decrease blood pressure, increase heart rate, increase stroke volume, confirm, and you'll get immediate feedback. Once I'm done with the whole knowledge check, I would hit continue, but I can also skip around to these different sections. So an animation here is just an additional video uh, visual aid for you. Uh, and the virtual tour is a really cool module where you can actually interact with a 3D model. And so once it loads, we have the heart here and I can rotate around. I can also switch to pan mode and pan different things. I can zoom in and if I wanna recenter, I'll just hit recenter 3D model. I have these labels that I can click on and get more information. There's also information in each uh, little chapter here and I can go through the chapters using these arrows uh, which will you know, have slightly different information, slightly different labels and contexts, but I can interact with them all in the same way. I can also navigate to a particular chapter if I want to. So here we have the layers of the heart wall, and then I can navigate to my heart chambers here and just interact with them any way I want. This explore tool, I can change to hiding structures. So let's say I wanna hide the aorta or I can fade structures. Let's say I wanna fade the right ventricle or the cardiac fat. Um, I can fade different things and basically make them transparent. So uh, I can also hide all the labels if I want, or I can enter full screen. Uh, so lots of different ways of using these. We also have these postcard puzzles, which are basically little games to help you with uh, understanding the content better. So click the chambers that hold deoxygenated blood. That would be my right atrium and my right ventricle. Submit, and yes, I click the right chambers. Click the AV valves. That's my tricuspid and mitral valves. Click the chamber with the highest systolic pressure. That's my left ventricle. Uh, we also have these matching games. So I'll move the drag and drop targets, left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricle, and those are all correct. Uh, in this one, I'll show you, so pulmonary valve, tricuspid valve, aortic valve. Let's say I mixed up my mitral valve and my ventricular septum. Okay, it says incorrect, but I can just try again, and now I'll move them to the correct location, and everything's good. There's also these matching games, so I can match all these different structures and then submit. Oh, I mix some of them up. I can figure out where these actually go and see if I can get everything appropriate. So that's left atrium, and that's right ventricle. 
and now I did it right. So, and you can retake these as many times as you want. It will reshuffle the order and uh, you know how everything's laid out. So you can do that multiple times. The checkpoints are basically assessments on particular topics. These will have a lot of stretch questions more so than the knowledge checks. So, you know, we do recommend taking these multiple times. They really are just a way of learning the content uh, and, and learning a little bit more critical thinking and more on an advanced level for this content. So don't be surprised if the first time through is really challenging, uh, depending on the checkpoint. Uh, there's a lot of stretch questions there, uh, but at the after each question, you'll get immediate feedback and extra information. So you'll learn through the checkpoint. So as the heart lies in the body, what chamber is most anterior? Okay, so let's say I thought it was the right atrium and I said number two, I would hit next and oh no, I'm incorrect. It's actually the right ventricle that's most anterior. So you'll get this immediate feedback for the checkpoints. Uh, finally, you know, I could go through each of these different chapters here and do all these different modules. And at the end of each section, we'll have these milestones. The comprehension milestone is going to use a very similar um, format to the checkpoints, just longer form. So it's going to be same, you know, type of uh, testing platform. And then the critical thinking uh, milestone will have flashcards. So I can hit next. Here's my first flashcard. What are the two primary functions of the AV node? Okay, I'm really just using this to assess myself and thinking about it. I think the two primary functions of the AV node are as a backup pacemaker for the sinus node and to slow conduction so the ventricles have time to fill before they contract. And then I can just click, it'll flip over, and yet it allows conduction from A to V, slows conduction to allow the atria to fill the ventricles and keeps the ventricles from beating too fast, and it serves as a backup pacemaker. So I think I got everything, I feel good about that. I'll move on to the next flashcard and I can cycle through them. So just lots of ways of, your assessing, your, of assessing yourself and again, with all of these, you can take them as many times as you want, even the milestones, uh, really just a way of enhancing your learning. You know, we're not learning to answer the questions on these tests. Everything is to help you build really strong foundations one section at a time. Uh, we really want to learn this content. It's like learning a new language. We have to have a really strong foundation before we move on to the next bundle. But let's say I took both these milestones and I felt good about this bundle. It would probably say 100% complete here. I can uh, go back to my dashboard and I can click back on my course guide here and just go to my next section. So I could either navigate to that section directly through the dashboard or I could go back to my course guide. And now I'm in ECG interpretation and I can start to learn that. Thank you.